Hi guys, let's have an awesome chest day today because you deserve one. Push day is my favorite. It's going to become yours too after this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for your boy. Let's get started and dive right in. Bench press is my favorite. First, I like to get set up, hands on the bar, get those shoulders back, get set, push off, keep those wrists straight, elbows in, feet are back, squeeze your glutes on the way up. That's a great tip. This allows you to have more power. Right now, we're working with 135 pounds, but pick whatever weight works for you. I used to only be able to do 85 pounds at my friend's house. Now, my max is 325 pounds. Remember to always believe in yourself. It's hard for a reason. I enjoy switching up the tempo. You guys know that about me. I don't like doing the same speed for the workout. I recommend that if you go to do bench press, pick three to five sets and do them at a consistent tempo. I'm just showing you different speeds so you understand, oh, I could do it that way. When you bench, you could go slightly fast. You could go slow. You could go really slow. You could do pause reps. Mix it up. One workout, do something and another workout, do another. Don't always do the same thing. You get stronger by trying new things. Your workout split is really important. So gear it towards your goals. You guys know my personality. I like to always have fun. Straight leg raises are personally my favorite, especially for getting my abs more shredded, flattening that tummy. I keep my feet together. I go up as high as I can, holding onto that pull-up bar. I recommend like 15 to 25 reps, but just do what you can. I used to only be able to do like three to five reps. Balance is going to be the hardest thing at first. I'm also going to show you now another alternative. This one's a lot easier. So if the first one you can't do, try this. Knees bent. Again, still go up as high as you can, but it's a lot easier. Great for toning that core. You need to train abs. Abs is using everything. Don't sleep on accessory work. That's the key. Let's keep pushing here. Decline chest flies have been one of my favorite for such a long time. Think of it like you're clapping your hands for someone's birthday or giving a really big hug. Move your hands in one motion and feel it all the way through. Remember, we want that consistency. And grip those handles. Some people hold the handles really loose. I don't know why people do that. I have a tight grip on the handles and you can see that. I will forever always make weird faces. I don't know why. And if you're wondering how much reps, I'd recommend like 10 to 15. Okay, this next one is fire. It is still a decline chest fly. Great for building the thickness in your chest. You're bringing your hands all the way under your chest, getting your knuckles to touch and flexing your chest there. Decline chest fly is the easiest to do. Middle chest fly is a little bit harder. Incline chest fly is the hardest. So it does get tougher. But I know you can handle it, so I wouldn't throw it at you if I didn't think you could do it. The gym doesn't get easier, you just keep getting stronger, so don't forget that. The progress you're making is actually amazing. Okay, this is when the chest starts to really burn. Bringing those hands across, we still want to get those knuckles to touch. You want to keep it right about that nipple level. We straighten out our arms on the way forward, and on the way back, we bend our elbows back. Sometimes I forget to bend my elbows on the way back, so I make rookie mistakes too. But there's always room to learn and to get better. Remember to take small breaths. I see some people breathing like crazy. That's how you waste energy. I try to keep my eyes on one thing i don't like to move my eyes around a lot because then i lose focus another funny face by me what's new incline chest flies okay this is great for that chest burn you thought any of that last ones were burning your chest wait till you do this one i call this the spider-man you want to bring those pinkies up and let them touch flex and then come back down my elbows are mostly in don't be discouraged if you can't do a lot of weight on this one i have the cable set all the way to the bottom and i put a light weight on some of you might need to put the lowest weight because this is actually one of the hardest chest flies to do we're building the shelf of the chest here so don't put a heavy weight remember progressive overload a little light weight at the beginning heavier 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 and get stronger and stronger and stronger don't rush the process tricep rope extensions my elbows are in extending all the way down the goal is that hip area we don't want any short reps and when i come up i don't go past my chest if you guys can build the triceps that's going to really help with your strength push-ups will get easier bench press that we showed will get easier dips will get easier give your triceps love i personally got to train them more too keep showing up keep trying hard it will pay off it does add up you might not see the results you want right away but that's how anything works don't take shortcuts in fitness listen whatever you put your mind to you can honestly achieve I was picked last, skipped over, made fun of, all that stuff, overcame surgery, doubted literally my whole life, and I'm here inspiring. So don't give up on me. I believe in you. Keep your head up and look for the positivity, not the negativity. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate you.